Hey guys, what's up? James or Wizite here and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now today, Zur has returned and he brings a bunch of new equipment that I'm going to show you. Which items he has brought this weekend and this weekend he is located in the hangar downstairs right at the back. So if you guys just follow this route, you will find him no problem. Now if you have missed any of my recent videos, I will have a playlist in the description for you guys so you can catch up on all of them. But first up, it's time for Destiny Question of the Day. I will leave four winners of yesterday's video in this video description and I will leave four more of this question in tomorrow's video description. And today's question is, what colour is Sepix Prime in Destiny? Is it A, white, B, yellow, or C, purple? Now leave me your answer in the comments section or tweet me at ESNWizite with the hashtag DestinyQOTD. And remember, if you think your answer is correct, like the video as I'll be putting in four winners in tomorrow's video description. So let's see what Zur has. For the Titan this week, he has the Crest of Alpha Loopy. This is the chest piece that every Titan wants. We have a defense of 339 that's upgradable to 439. This is the item I'd choose if I were a Titan. One of these upgrades allows you to spawn more orbs and revive teammates faster. This item will cost you 13 strange coins. And for the Hunter this week, Zur is selling Knucklehead Raider. I do prefer the Mask of the Third Man, but this helmet has a 311 defense upgradable to 402, and it also has one of the better upgrades in Destiny, which allows your radar to remain visible when you're aiming down the sights with your primary weapon. This will be very, very useful in the Crucible, and again, this item will cost you guys 13 strange coins. Lastly is the Warlock, and this week, Zur brings Apothesis, Veil. Starting at 311 defense and it's upgradable to 402. The same stats as the Hunter's Helmet. This helmet has two very useful upgrades. One allows you to replenish your health when you pick up an orb and the other regenerates your health when you activate your super. Again, this item, like the other two, will cost you guys 13 strange coins. And available to everyone this week is an exotic rifle called the Suros Regime, starting at a 260 attack, which can be all the way upgraded to 300, which is going to rip any enemy apart. I have decided to buy this weapon, and I have a video up either tonight or tomorrow breaking this weapon down and giving my opinion on it. This weapon will cost you guys 23 strange coins. Also available to everyone this weekend is an exotic helmet engram. So if you fancy your luck this weekend, buy it and see what you get. I brought the armor engram last week. Check out my video if you haven't already to see what I got. Zur also sells three telemetries which will increase the development speed in which you're able to upgrade a particular weapon. And this week he sells them for the pulse rifle, a shotgun and a sniper rifle. He is also selling an emerald coil which will upgrade an equipped sparrow's durability and speed and will also leave a greenish trail when you boost. He is also selling the void drive which will upgrade your speed and durability of an equipped sparrow and will leave a purplish trail. Last but not least, Zur is selling five heavy ammo packs for one strange coins. Now guys, this has been it for today's video. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave me a like. Leave me a comment with what item you guys are going to be buying if you buy any at all. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.